understanding the a particular overheat temperature in the Invertec E3 VFD. So these are great little VFDs, but we, we've had we've used hundreds of these each year, and here in 2023, we're starting to have problems with there's a, a little cooling fan in them that sometimes doesn't work, and it's not available from the manufacturer, and it'll give you an overheat a overheat fault. So to fix it, we came up with our own solution, and we'll show you how to test for it. For step one is your, your variable speed drive is gonna stop working. And if you come up on the display, you're gonna, you have to go to the back page of this little manual and they've got cryptic descriptions. So it's heat sink over temperature. Oh, it's fault eight, but they're not gonna show you eight on the screen. They're gonna show you an OT in eight digit LCD logic. I mean, it's, I find it maddening, but instead of just putting like a fault F8 on, they just have some Japanese characters and you just have to compare the characters to here. It's actually sort of hard to do it over the phone But you just you just compare them to the list here in the back of the Little manual that comes with a VFD and if you've got a fault eight That means it probably means this little fan in the bottom is not working and you can test it and to test it You use your ears and your fingers. So if you hold all five buttons in Oops didn't do it right I have to get out of this. I'm not. I'm not. There, we go. there we go. Gotta hold all five buttons in at the same time. There we go. All the all the eight digits come on the display, and you can hear that cooling fan. Boom. Boom. So if you're getting an over temperature fault and you come in here and you hold all five buttons down and you don't hear that little whoom. That means this fan is the, the cooling fan in here probably needs replaced, and you can replace it. Um, you can't actually buy the with the right connector, so you just have to snip the wires and put another one. Just connect the wires together because they use a special little connector, and Invertec doesn't make it available as a complete unit. So I'm just telling you this so that you hold five buttons in and you can test it real easy. So if it, the fan doesn't turn on, you don't hear that whoom, then you can either send the V, if it's within the warranty period, you can send the, the VFD back to Invertec, or we, we can actually, we started repairing them here at our own shop. So it's just one of these little things that it's good to know because it makes our lives easier rather than sending them all back to Invertec or discarding them because it's just a, such a simple item. If, if this was any, if, if this was useful to you, like and subscribe. This, this channel is just about helping people understand the things I learn and how to make your lives easier with the electronics that we use.